Boy, Janno Circus Restaurant. Yes, I know who Domoro Senata, Adiata, Topotoro, and Kendama Bige. Luntan During, Tamala, Abeka Domoro Kijan, Adi Manda Wallad, Takawe Bijele, and Impananka Padijan, Ukono Fa. A government of pastry and in bakery, Uko Fanan Bekari. Bad lomba conference lomba workshop lomba ye fo fe ni lo dunia ko no domoro betama ni lom international o tewoda number 1 amanke ba domo la jam dama e sa domo jam e sa atari ya a wo mu ku bandi sa na ko sa futandi e o to sa na ko be mu sikes restaurant ndaba na jam na mu yad ni manje do rom bi jam aban sikes restaurant known for best quality food and customer satisfaction When we touch down, but I broke down. Hello and welcome to Kerfatu Life with a special interview. I'm Lamin Cham. 
Today my guest is Al Haji the Honorable Amaru Sane, accountant and politician. In this one hour, we will talk about the man, Amaru Sane himself, his professional and political life. We will talk about his political party, the United Democratic Party, the UDP. We will also talk about his time as Minister of uh, Finance, and we will also tap his experience uh, to learn what the future might look like politically in the Gambia through his perspective and that of his uh, party. Well, in the first quarter of this one hour, of course, we will get to know Mr. Amadou Sane very well. But like I have said, he was both a professional accountant and in his political life later he became Minister of Finance. He was once Accountant General in the Republic of the Gambia. He also worked with NARI as an uh, audit, uh, uh, head of the audit, um, among other things. But first, let me just start by welcoming you, Alhaji uh, Amadou Sane. Welcome to Kefar. On this Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasure. Very quickly, mm -hmm. um, where and when were you born? Um, born in Bansang, 1958. Um, if you want to be specific, 28 August, that's my birthday. Okay. <laughs> yes. And where do you grow up as a child and where and where do you have your education and uh, how was your upbringing, upbringing like, uh, life in those days, in the 50s in Bantan? Um, I did my primary schooling in Bantan, Bantan Primary School. Um, grew up uh, like most rural boys. Um, uh, doing the rural life, uh, going to firewood, uh, going to the farm, yeah. going to the school, and helping your mom yeah. in all the chores. Yeah. So we came up through that rural background. Yeah. And I must say, I did enjoy that life. Mm -hmm. um, 71, I sat to the common entrance. In Bansang? In Bansang. Okay. Um, at the time, I got what you call a fair pass. Okay. And I was in Crab Island for one year. All right. And uh, then late Kamabaji was the was, yes, principal. Yes, Kamabaji was the principal. Yes. Was the yes. Mm. After one year, um, normally some were allowed to reset. Mm. But uh, I was not fortunate to do that. Mm. And... Uh, we had openings in Gambia High School, mm -hmm. St. Augustine, St. Newstrad. Okay. So, uh, fellow students were sent to different schools. Okay. So, I happened to go to Newstrad. Newstrad? Uh, yes. And that was in, uh, before, uh, end of 71. Yes. Well, I thought it started I in 75, actually. No. So I it joined the, them in the second year. In the second year. That's the... Uh, 72 okay. um, academic year in the beginning of September something. Okay. Um, so I started uh, my O levels in New Okay. Um, we were the first bike to sit the GCE. Okay. You must uh, have really mm -hmm. been sent to school much mm -hmm. earlier in your life because mm -hmm. when you told me about your age and then the time you were talking about when you take the common entrance, it, it looks like mm -hmm. you must have been sent to school when you were already grown up? Um, no, it was just normal average age, okay. around 65. Okay. Was, you know, in, uh, actually, independence found me in the primary school, primary, primary, school. primary okay. one or so. Right. Okay. Then we were given badges and six okay. pence and cups you yeah. know, <laughs> to celebrate. Yeah. That, that, and, that um, time, coming to Banjul mm -hmm. from the rural areas to get education for a mm -hmm. rural child, like you was challenging, I had stories mm -hmm. about uh, people who, of course, we are looking for guardians. Some have mm -hmm. to even change their names yeah, to become, yes. you know, Banjulian or a cool name or whatever. Yeah. How was it like for you? Um, I was fortunate not to change, <laughs> have changed my name. Yeah, because I, was um, I actually stayed with my uncle. Okay. Um, initially, uh, I call him simply Emmet Ketamanya, Mama Kali Tamanya. Okay. He used to be a CID officer, and then... Uh, was personal management at Sunway. Oh, okay. Yes, uh, I remember that one. He was a brother to 
the policeman. I, I J K Tumman. Yes, that's right. So I spent uh, almost a year with him. Then yeah. I came to the elder brother. That's the I J K Tumman. Um, uh, that's where I did my high schooling at Miss Okay. Um, we were unable to do the exams in June mm -hmm. when all the schools were doing it. Okay. Um, because uh, being the first batch, we had uh, a lot of challenges. Okay, okay. Uh, some of the teachers would come and go, mm -hmm. and we had not finished the syllabus and then. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we managed, we tried our best. Mm -hmm. Instead, we started our GC in November. Instead, Instead of, of June. June. Yes. Fantastic. But uh, I was able to uh, get sixth form mm -hmm. in Gambia High, High School. Who were your classmates, you can remember, at Gambia High School? Who are in the public domain now? Um, I had, uh, let me see, so many scattered, um, but yeah. people yeah. like uh, Alhaji Conte, the banana. Alhaji Conte, the electrician. Yes. Okay. Um, you had others, uh, some have passed away, okay. um, but some, they'll be, maybe we had different levels, you know. Um, Dr. Nyan was above okay. us, yes, there was a class above us. Okay. okay. Um, uh, you had uh, others, um, I think Dr. Gay was past, uh, more senior, I okay. think. Right. But uh, we had colleagues and we were scattered. Okay. I, uh, maybe I wouldn't remember all that. <laughs> <laughs> so right. Then, um, then yes. <laughs> uh, typical of your style, you, you naturally grow mm -hmm. gradually and then you entered into the civil service, I guess, or did you have for the training and where, when and where was it? No, after the sixth form, I joined the GPTC. Yeah, then the uh, transport company, yes. Yes. Okay. Um, then Arthur Carroll was a managing director yeah. then. What, what were you, inspector, conductor, or no, you were accountant? Trainee accountant. Trainee accountant. Yes. Okay. So that's where you cut, cut your knees in accountants. Yes. That's where it started. Yes. Okay. Um, and actually, GPTC sponsored my training to okay. do the ACCA. Okay. Uh, three of us were uh, appointed okay. uh, together myself, Ibrahim Asise, mm -hmm. former minister. Of, oh, yes, uh, I remember him, Ibrahim Asise. Uh, Musa Ajalo, okay. um, he's a banker now, I think with Standard Chartered. Chartered, yes. Yes, so Musa was on the traffic, mm -hmm. uh, Ibrahim was on the engineering, yeah. and I was in Finance. So I went to UK to do my ACCA, okay. and the two of them were sent to Sierra Leone for a way to do their degree program. Yeah. So I think these were the days where students were being sponsored ah, yes. by institutions. By institutions. Sports was also sponsoring sailors uh, and so on. Exactly. You know. Sports were also sponsoring. Yes. Marine, Marine there were so Indian many. Or? Yes. Uh, other companies were also doing. Okay. So, so you went to England? So I went from 80 to 83. Okay. And I completed my ACCA. Yeah. And did you come so, back? So um, I came back in 83. Okay. Joined the GPTC, mm -hmm. the accounts department. Yeah. Um, but for a short while, mm -hmm. um, somehow it wasn't easy to settle down. Okay. And the new environment I found. Uh, oh, okay. So then um, Mr. Jangha, Sarah Jangha, Sarah Jangha who, who was, was at NIB general. and then at the National, National Investment, Investment Board. Board. Yeah. And he was a board member. Mm -hmm. and of so, the GPT. Yes. So when he discussed me, I said, look, we need young accountants like you. Okay. So if you are not <laughs> settled here, mm -hmm. they couldn't decide okay. what to do with you. You can come over. Okay. So you went to the I NIB. said I was bonded okay. because of course, they yes. trained they me. Train you. So you I was supposed to, to serve them for okay. at least uh, three years. Also. But he was a board member and mm -hmm. he knows uh, the situation. So 
uh, when it went to the board, I was a uh, release of my uh, born date. Yeah. <laughs> then I moved to NIB, NIB as financial analyst. I see. That was in the, in the middle 80s. Um, actually, 84, 84. 84 or something like that, 84. Okay. So I was then at NIB, and then um, around 87, yeah. um, I went to Livestock Marketing Board as Managing Director. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. LMB. Um, this LMB. Call LMB. 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 It used Something to be. Like, yeah, yes. I remember that. Okay. And those were the days we were exporting yeah. our uh, Ndama breed Ndama to breed. Gabon. Yeah. They were airlifting these animals to Gabon. Gabon. They were yeah. building their ranches. Yeah. Unfortunately, in the Gambia, we couldn't build our own ranch. We couldn't ranch. build our own ranch. Yes, that's, and that's the irony of the situation. Yes, we were oh, okay. exporting to other countries, and yeah. uh, we were exporting to Ghana as well. Yes. So, doing the Tobaski ships then, yes. Tobaski ship, and supplying hotels in Atlantic, Senegal, and so on. Okay. So, so it, was, it was working then. From livestock? Uh, yes. Um, briefly to Commercial and Development Bank. Oh, yeah as managing director designate. Mm. Oh, right. um, and that is just when Usenu left. Oh, yeah, when Usenu yeah, left. Late Usenu, so yeah. then they brought an English man, mm. I think Mr. Tweets, yeah. David Tweets, to yeah. be managing director. Okay. So I was taking to, to work with to him. Work with, yeah. um, but then, you know, with the World Bank program, it had to be privatized. Okay. Again, I was moved to president's office. All right. Uh, to the policy analysis unit right. as uh, advisor, financial advisor to the president. That was and the former president Jawara. Jawara, yes. Until when? Um, that's where I went for my MBA at Manchester Business School mm -hmm. um, from uh, 91 to 93, right. 92 93 academic year. So uh, Sarah Jang was also, also Secretary, Secretary General, General at the time. time yes. Yes. So I finished in 93, came back. Uh, I was at the PAU briefly. Um, actually, the PAU I found uh, Yusuf Akar there. Okay. We were two. And then a late farmer Rajata came okay. in to okay. join us. Uh, we were dealing with the performance contracts and then, you know, okay. working on. Uh, public enterprise yes. accounts to okay. advise the Secretary General mm -hmm. and President and all the financial issues, economic issues that were Excellent. coming. Yeah. And, then, and um, then came the 94 coup. Cool. It, it found you in that position? Um, actually, I moved back to NIB. Oh, okay, NIB. Um, then, uh, as uh, Director of Corporate uh, Affairs. That was the time of Corporate and Blight Capital Touré. Markets, okay. at the time of a blight. Yes, that's, that's where the coup found, found. You. And what happened after the coup? The coup, the Secretary General then, Larry Sisse, called me. Yeah. Say, Amadou, um, we need you uh, in the Accountant General's Department. Yes. Say that. Mm, okay, I'll give it a try. Mm. So I was there from 94. You became Accountant General. Accountant General, 94 mm -hmm. up to, to 96. Yeah. Um, the usual, uh, yeah, me. Style. <laughs> uh, maybe I wasn't happy the way we were pushing. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Things right? Yeah. Uh, I was moved to trade as deputy permanent secretary. Secretary. Okay. Um, then I said no. This is not my area. Then you left. Um, I went to see the then secretary general, Mr. Wada. Yeah. I told me, Sani, uh, I told him, look, I want to leave. Mm. I said, go and write. I'll approve it. Oh, yes? Say, yes, as, go and write. As, and as if he too actually was... Yes, uh, no, he said, you are a professional. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you can go anywhere, you know, do your work, you know. That's better. The way things were going yes, then, yeah, he knew that I think that. all the administration, uh, so we knew what we was knew happening. happening. So and it wasn't a good place to be. Okay. <laughs> so when I wrote, he approved, I uh, gave him my leave as notice, and then I left. And you went to form this private entity, A, 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 and, A, 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 A and Co. A, A and Co. Uh, ah, yes, okay. an accounting firm and doing auditing, accounting and auditing services. Yes. All right.
just after that, quite an impressive uh, mm -hmm. uh, civil service career, actually. Mm -hmm. um, like you said, of course, there were, there were challenges there. Then mm -hmm. comes politics. You became a member of the United Democratic Party yes. uh, back then in 1996. Six, yes. Why did you choose to go to politics? Already you have given us a scenario of how you think things were going at the mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. and, and then when you left, you had your f accounting firm, private thing, but then you choose to go into politics. How did you enter politics? Um, it wasn't an easy decision. Mm. But uh, the considerations were one. Mm -hmm. I am a citizen of the Gambia. Yes. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. This is our country. Mm -hmm. And if it is going to be good, mm -hmm. we all have a role to play. If it's going to be bad, mm -hmm. it's still our role, we'll make it bad. Mm -hmm. And what I saw then, uh, what the military area was pushing at, mm -hmm. uh, he never understood administration at the time. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know the r rules, the regulations, the order, the service, and things like that. So he was just pushing mm -hmm. things as he wishes. Okay. A government could, cannot run like cannot that. Run by, like, like I know. So I saw the threat mm -hmm. uh, that this country really go down. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a feeling I thought I should play my role. Okay. I shouldn't let my children and the youths of this age, mm -hmm. you know, see a country that is going down the drains. So you thought that so solution can be found by finding an alternative in politics? Politically, uh, yeah. that's a legal way yeah. of trying to change force change mm -hmm. you know, uh, yeah. through the will of the people. So if you are at the UDP in 96, mm -hmm. because that was the year of its birth, mm -hmm. so you certainly must have been involved in its formation. How yes. was it formed and how did it, you join later after it been formed or you, you were actually the pioneers? Um, no, I wouldn't say uh, because normally every organization, there are a group of people who, that started, yes, who initiate the yeah. activity. And then when it's coming out, then say this is going to be a party, you have a lot of uh, others who would say we will be part of it. Part of it. Yes. That's what happened in your case. That's what it so was already formed, happened. but in the same year actually, you came. Well, not uh, formed as so I was part of the firm, but oh. the, not the initiators <laughs> at the search. Okay. Uh, you had others, you know, uh, the job counters and the others who put their heads together. Who was together. job counter? Nobody knows about that, that name. It was said mm -hmm. that maybe it was mm -hmm. former politicians in the First Republic. Somewhere in the NCP, somewhere in the PPP. He was a businessman. He was a businessman. Um, Job Kante. Job Kante. He was managing a large Marlon Kante's estate, Marlon Kante, Wellington yeah, Street. Marlon Kante, yeah. And the UDP bureau actually has it. Oh, yeah. A very strong member. A really good force on the UDP. Okay. In the UDP. And uh, really, his contribution is immense. Mm -hmm. But who were mm -hmm. there? Were there other, since you were there, were there other people? Other than Usheno Dabo, uh, mm -hmm. in terms of who might be leader, we we heard that there were former politicians who were looking for somebody, and, and they got to Usheno, etc. Were there other people who could have been leader other than Usheno? Uh, no, I think they maybe they considered some names. Okay, but um, at the time, mm -hmm. with the the kind of military leadership, yeah, the terrain authoritarian and yeah. a really dictatorial regime mm -hmm. to stand up and face you know the military to yeah. challenge them yeah. these are people with arms and, and forces everywhere all the mercenary government mm -hmm. so uh, it's a daunting task yeah. not many people wanted to to do it yeah. and uh, Usainu accepted it mm -hmm. accepted the challenge mm -hmm. And he led the party from then. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you became national treasurer. Treasurer. From the very beginning. The first Congress, I was elected as national treasurer. So you've been throughout mm -hmm. the United Democratic Party. Since then. And until run, run, uh, your Z private A and A. Yes. Whatever. Okay. Yes. All right. So uh, check us through. Um, between 96 until 2017, mm -hmm. I mean, 
the DUDP we of course now mm -hmm. had a lot of troubles, mm -hmm. uh, trials and tribulations, including your own. Mm -hmm. uh, but before we get there, um, mm -hmm. how did you, why do you think the party, mm -hmm. um, of course it survived under dictatorship, but how do you think it was able to, it wasn't able to gain power mm -hmm. um, and, it's, and, and it was been seen well, Jammy painted the party as mm -hmm. a party that is representing an ethnic, you know, identity, mm -hmm. etc., etc. Mm -hmm. How did you survive in all those things? No, it wasn't easy. Mm -hmm. um, Ninety-six. Uh, actually, I, I stood for Upper Flood West as a parliamentary candidate. Yes. Uh, a few times, uh, yeah. two, three times. You lost. Uh, I lost. Mm -hmm. Churchill Balde mm -hmm. at the time, yeah. and then uh, Churchill, and the last one was, uh, um, was it, uh, was it this APRC? Where the time, because <laughs> you were in, Churchill was more popular, or do you think even at that stage the, the elections no, were never free? No, free? the elections in the Gambia were run under conditions. One, mm. yeah, was forcing the Alcalos mm -hmm. um, mm. to be on his side. They had no uh, choice. They was forced them. Mm -hmm. Only the ones who really felt they were really committed to their own principles, they were not going to support him. Mm -hmm. And we know he was changing Alcalos like, you know, yeah. clothes. Yeah, he was, if you don't do his um, bidding. The can. chiefs mm -hmm. were campaigning for him. Mm -hmm. And the governors, mm -hmm. Uh, the deputy governors then were all then the July 22nd, the like the second they were all there just to campaign. Uh -huh. um, the Alcalos, if your village mm -hmm. uh, area does not mm -hmm. uh, perform well for him, yeah. uh, you know your, your head is you, going you, to roll. Yeah. So the threat, the fear yeah. was immense. Absolutely. The environment itself was in him. Yeah. And then for us then, the uh, governors at the time of Bojang, yeah. he would o take his pickup, yes. put soldiers behind with arms, mm -hmm. go around to campaign, threatening, intimidating, intimidating the, the villagers. Okay. So he so used all sorts of tactics. So it wasn't, uh, it was practically possible it to, wasn't. to, to and then against the APRC. You know, with the tokens, yeah. you know, uh, if you know Upper Flood the villages are scattered, it's okay. quite yeah. far and wide. Mm -hmm. The roads are not so well. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they will tell our agents, yeah. no, you cannot fit in the pickup. Pick so your box will be transported without your agent agents. or witness. Absolutely. Who knows what they were doing? Ah, nobody knows. And, yeah. and in, in that particular election, so it could never have been fair. fair. Okay. And there was uh, one election that at St. Peter's, mm -hmm. we actually uh, found so many tokens. tokens. You know, these are supposed to be counted Got and it, put back into the box and sealed, sealed. in case there is an nice appeal. Query, yeah. So, but these two hoons can be found everywhere. everywhere. So you know that it's a question of just foul play. Foul play. And the other aspect is, um, you know, each country has its own election. Mm -hmm. Here we see the Senegalese go to the embassies yes. and they were voting. voting yeah, like uh, we see Guinea Bissau, they are voting. They, they, they are Other countries, they are diaspora to vote. Well, uh, it doesn't happen here. Um, unfortunately for us, mm -hmm. uh, some of our uh, colleagues, our neighbors, our foreigners who are living with us, mm -hmm. some engage in our politics. Mm -hmm. And in SOMA, mm -hmm. you know, when the IEC releases the, uh, the register, mm -hmm. Uh, voters, mm. you are allowed to go and scrutinize it yeah. and to uh, challenge yeah, some to revise it. Course. Some were challenged, mm -hmm. but what happened? Yaya instead mm -hmm. imprisoned our members who challenged, who challenged it. <laughs> <laughs> and we had to pay, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So he was controlling Every the entire system. The, judi the, the judiciary was yeah. in his pocket. Yeah. You know, the administration, yeah. the governors, the chiefs, yeah. the alcalos. It wasn't possible you know? to contest. So, really, 
he was manipulating the elections. I don't believe he won all those elections. All the, all, all the other elections. Yes, yeah, no. And then in 2001, January, mm -hmm. I can remember, uh, mm. you had a tragedy uh, in, in, mm -hmm. in the party. Uh -huh. It was said that some National Assembly members were yes. traveling from your home mm -hmm. or something happened there. And then they, they had a fatal accident. That's Two of them died. And in fact, Four actually, people died two there. MPs and, 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 and a woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What actually happened then? What was it? What was it? Actually, uh, it was the opening of the Lobo Mosque. Mm -hmm. uh, people were going there and the prayers to open the mosque. Mm -hmm. uh, the late Abu Karamba Gazama, mm -hmm. Abu, late Buba Samara, those yes. were the two MPs. Yeah. Uh, Kunda, Kunda was Sisi. another camera. Mm -hmm. Um, and then those were the others. Then Aminata Sise, actually, he died in, at Bansak Hospital, not on this part. Um, because we were in the hospital and they took him to the tears and she never made it. So. Uh, the people who died were traveling the same vehicle with you? Eh? Actually, it was my van. Yeah, you were It was a van. I was there. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife was there. And I had two kids there also. <laughs> so it's like me and my family, we yeah, were yeah. all there. Yeah. Um, my late friend, Kutubo Mani, Kutubo, yeah. he had a spin there, spinal yes. injury Comfort and food, yeah. he was paralyzed from the mm -hmm. um, The late uh, deputy Imam uh, Nyandu, Riyan Piran, yeah. he was also there. He was also a casualty in that... Uh, two, two, uh, four people died in that? Yes, he uh, also passed you, away. You, you and your family, mm -hmm. they just lucky escaped with injuries? Um, really serious injuries. The little boy, uh, Mustafa, then mm. had a broken leg yeah. below the knee. Mm. So, uh, my daughter, our, she was a lucky one with just bruises. Mm. For me and my wife, the wife uh, she had a broken finger. And then but the bodily pain, the impact, because it's so much salted. And I think uh, that caused the damage, because when it was falling, people were thrown out and it was falling on some. Um, uh, the late Keba Dabo, he yeah. was my campaign manager then, yeah. and the mm -hmm. Bansang <laughs> parliamentary. Mm -hmm. uh, but he passed away, he was a man. Yeah. He had serious hip. Yes, yeah. Spend a long time on the RBA. Okay. So it was a really bad accident. I, yeah, I, really I, remember, bad accident. I, I remember that. that the whole nation yes. really uh, mm -hmm. was focused on it that was, accident. Okay. Was. Right, mm -hmm. let's fast forward. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, so you were in the UDP, you were mm -hmm. the national uh, treasurer, mm -hmm. and uh, you, know, you were going to, and then you, have your own, you had your own personal tribulations. Um, mm -hmm. yes. In September 2013, mm -hmm. um, a young man was arrested in the border, mm -hmm. uh, Malang Fati, I guess. Yes, that's right. And, correct. you know, it was said that you had a role in supporting his asylum claim. You were blamed for... Well, mm -hmm. they said the asylum claim actually said mm -hmm. the UDP was mm -hmm. always under persecution. Mm -hmm. the German, mm -hmm. That part, many people believe that is correct. Mm -hmm. But they said the, the other part of the testimony said he, mm -hmm. Malang himself, more, was subjected to some detention or something, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. this is where they found you to be. Well, yes. they found to be to, to be troubling, and then mm -hmm. uh, you were dragged to court for making what they said was an alleged false mm -hmm. statement, etc. Yes, and you were imprisoned in December of the same year, mm -hmm. paraded, uh, you know, before before the actually paraded before television, and mm -hmm. and, and and many people judge at a time that um, you. Mm -hmm. We are actually physically manhandled by the NIA or was it for? Uh -huh. That really must have been a troubling moment for you. I, I, I yes. can understand this and I can really connect with it. I myself had, had to go through torture, etc. But mm -hmm. that, that, that period must have been very, really, um, yes. very difficult for you. Um, okay. If we give the perspective, mm -hmm. Uh, under the Jamme regime, mm. so many Gambians left. Absolutely. Some were forced to flee. Mm -hmm. Some had to run for their own lives. Yeah. And um, we had seen a lot of aggression mm -hmm. and force mm -hmm. 
on the UDP and members of the UDP. Mm. From the Brikama Congress when we wanted to hold it. Yes. From Wasajane, mm -hmm. late Singul Nyasi, yes, yes. Saju Kunjang Sane, mm -hmm. and so many others who were beaten and tortured mm -hmm. just for trying to hold a congress. A congress. Mm -hmm. A civil right that we had. Excellent. Our members were arbitrarily arrested, mm -hmm. beaten. Mm -hmm. uh, Wajuara, when he was with us, well, had fingers broken. Fingers, fingers broken. Fingers broken. Mm -hmm. Singul had to go several arrests. Kasajata Baka also had to go several. At the end, he had to run to Kasamas as a refugee. Yes, so, if under these circumstances, mm -hmm. uh, somebody runs to say, Look, I think my life is in danger, mm -hmm. uh, we are in trouble, mm -hmm. and I, I want to go. But um, please assist me with an attestation mm -hmm. which may help my mm -hmm. refugee status. Exactly. This is the situation okay. in the background. Mm -hmm. And so many people had gone. Yeah, in fact, uh, at the time I, 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 I hear people who came into your defense said mm -hmm. even APRC supporters, a lot of them also, of them own supporters, they were also know, they using the same. Trying to <laughs> shut their asylum, they claim they've been persecuted yes. when they actually mm -hmm. were whining, dining. Yes. With them, and the yes, people correct. said, well, uh, Amaru mm -hmm. really been victimized because if it was just for no. this. Uh, single had been detained there several times, but never got to the stage uh, that I uh, was in. But he said, look, for me, I will do it. Yeah. He was a very brave man. Yeah, he was brave man. <laughs> Somebody, yes. Yeah. Um, and this man, his elder brother, mm -hmm. uh, Sambufati, actually is the one I had never known no, Nala. Yes, yes. Um, he said, look, uh, my brother is in this situation. Yeah. You want help so that he can escape. Yeah. Um, my own judgment is, on the uh, Jame, oh. if somebody wants to hide, I'll help him hide. Right. But you didn't no. think you were breaking the law by... No. Well, well the one part of the story which mm -hmm. says the UDP, where he belonged to Mr. Fati, actually been persecuted. Everybody knew that. Yes. But then to say he personally was arrested or was, uh, was, was, was malhandled, according, according mm -hmm. to what the letter was supposed to have said, mm -hmm. the people found that troubling. Um, and, 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 no, and this happens to us. So many of our supporters, okay, okay. so many, yeah. even those lining, you know, Westfield, the women and so on, when mm -hmm. Hussein was coming, mm -hmm. you know, some had their sad turn off, turn even yeah. women, their sad turn off yeah. them yeah. by soldiers. Exactly. And then we were ambushed at uh, Denton Bridge. Okay. I was the, uh, in, the first, the in fact, my vehicle was the first, first one mm -hmm. when Hussein was coming from the tour. Mm -hmm. Myself, my late Dafe, mm -hmm. um, the current uh, Yanku Badiba OIC oh, now, see, yeah. he was in my car, mm -hmm. and uh, I think one or two others. So we were the first, we were pulled aside mm -hmm. for no reason. Mm -hmm. The place was full of armed soldiers. Yes, absolutely. You know, mm -hmm. we were brought down our vehicles, pull off your shirts, lie down on exactly. the floor. Tortured, they were trampling on our backs, beating our heads, some were broken, and you know, shots were being fired above our heads. Yeah, that this is the kind of situation. situation. And would you say this is just for one person? This was a group of UDP, especially the youth in the pickup. There was a sorry, truck that we used to call democracy. democracy. Yeah? So, so that, that, that was the, the whole team yeah. were brought down. So you didn't agree that so you, 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 you broke any law? No, you know, no. At a station to some party. People, you know, when they need, okay. uh, I think under even international law, yeah. refugee status, mm -hmm. uh, you want to do, you should help a refugee mm -hmm. until you know his circumstance and so on that he can be safe. Well, whatever, that, that is general, whatever general. justification then mm -hmm. the uh, reformer regime had or, mm -hmm. uh, but when they, Whatever they had mm -hmm. in terms of evidence or in terms of was, was all squashed when they mm -hmm. subjected you to torture mm -hmm. and, and paraded you, um, mm -hmm. you know, trial before, before the press, before the actual trial. I think, um, okay. But I, what I'm saying, mm -hmm. the 
the path I was taking uh -huh. is because at the time they were saying Hussein was 65, uh -huh. would be 65 by the next election. Okay. So it would be bad. I so see. some were pointing fingers, oh, Amadou um, may be his hand. Maybe. It's a potential hand. Okay. So let's get rid of somebody out of the way. I see. I think in the line of question at the NIA, mm -hmm. the treatment and so on, yeah. I think this feature. I see. So, so the um, because really, mm -hmm. they didn't have anything to say. They didn't have anything to say. Okay. They took us there in communicado oh. for a long time. They that's didn't allow our lawyers to come. Yeah, they didn't typical. allow the families then to mm. come for a while. That's typical and nice. It was later that uh, maybe families were trying, starting oh. to bring food for us. Oh. Then, you know, in the middle of one night, they just come and pick you up. Exactly. You know? I, I have personal experience Good. of that. Okay. <laughs> so, you know, take yeah. you upstairs, the road, yeah. undress you, yeah. you know, flat, and then they mm. start beating. This is about six to eight people. I could. I they could. beat you anywhere. Exactly. So, we could have been the first solo Sunday. Solo Sunday, yes, yes. Because at the end of the beating, I couldn't walk. Yeah. They had to carry through on the When people saw you on television. And threw me. They, they, yeah. And so, so you, 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 I mean, so you said they had in mind that perhaps if they get you out one way or the other through using the criminal they justice will system, sort of uh, destabilize the UDP. UDP. If Hussein couldn't contest, there will mm -hmm. be a problem getting somebody, yes, yes. Uh, you know, a big week mm -hmm. to contest for mm -hmm. a party. So you believe they, all those things were politically motivated? Yes, it was politically motivated. motivated and in the trial, mm -hmm. um, just scare. Um, when the NIA were supposed to give their testimony in court, they yeah. said, no, they cannot, it's only on the camera. camera. And when we went in, the one who came, the agent, mm -hmm. any question my lawyers asked, mm -hmm. uh, Mrs. Mendy was then asking, mm -hmm. she said, no, it was an instruction. Ah, so Everything was an instruction. instruction. And he had to hold his hands in his head. Yeah. You know? Yeah. He couldn't believe what he was hearing, mm. but he was also part of the scheme. Mm. At the end of it, we all knew he had to run away also <laughs> out of the country. Exactly. He was being used as a kangaroo, kangaroo. in the courts in the court, yeah. um, to just carry out a vindictive, vindictive Yeah, you know, I, I remember international organizations mm. condemned the Jamaican regime yes. for, for treating you like that. For mm -hmm. So, 2000. And 13 December, you went to prison. You didn't know much of all yes. the upheavals that followed, mm -hmm. uh, culminating into the uh, 2016 elections. And you were subsequently released from prison uh, in, in January 2017. Now, mm -hmm. when you were in prison, and mm -hmm. uh, like I said, all the upheavals were going, you were in part of it. But mm -hmm. did, you, did it occur to you that some change is coming in the wind when you were in prison um, from the period between 2013 to the elections? Um, yeah, because I was of, there. of course, in between, your party leadership found you there. They came, Usino and the team, you know, Modusane, uh, uh, Femi Peters, and yes. the whole of came and then they So I it. think that was the climax. Mm -hmm. Get all the UDP executive mm -hmm. in prison okay. so they wouldn't have a role to play okay. in the So when, you, the when, they, when they came and found you, how was mm -hmm. that first meeting like? No, it was shocking uh, when I heard about it. Oh. Um, we weren't allowed much news. Okay. Sometimes when there, are crisis, there is some upheaval or something you know, happening, they will come and take the TVs and the cells away. Oh. So we don't have any information. We don't have any news. Ah, I see. Okay. But, you know, there are a few uh, of the prison officers mm -hmm. who were acting human. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they do tell us this is happening in town. This is it. This and so get news. Even newspapers were not and allowed. And then uh, some of our colleagues who go out to hospital, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we'll they news. have family members. They can, you know. They will bring news. They can bring news. Mm -hmm. So that's the way it has when been. When solo sending and others uh, mm -hmm. were picked up and tortured, and uh, mm -hmm. uh, you you didn't hear that in the prison. You had not instantly. You, you had it to was much later, later. Much later there.
mm-hmm. and then later. All right, so, and so your again. people found you in prison just to fast track, mm-hmm. and then in 2016, the elections happened, mm-hmm. and the coalition, which your party was very much part of, won. Mm-hmm. And the news was brought to you uh, in prison, along with all the executive of the, G, uh, of the UDP. How do you react personally? How was that day like? Uh, How do you got to know about it? Actually, the elections, uh, we were not out, but uh, we followed the noise along the uh, mile two, Banjul, Serakuna, when the parties are moving, the noise they are making. Okay. And some of the prisoners who go out to work, they see the common report, oh, this has a big crowd, it's, you know, UDP, or it's Mama Kande, or it, APR is moving, Yaya is moving, some things. Okay. Um, so when the elections came, uh, first results, mm-hmm. you know, started was favoring. Yeah, Wait, where are you following? That day you we were there. not following directly, but they were the officers were listening to oh, their radios. Oh, okay. And uh, you know, uh, human nature. Some yeah. of our people, when we were outside during the day, mm-hmm. for the few hours we were there. Yeah. Some would get close and try to <laughs> it's drop. It's it's drop. It's drop. Yes, I know. And uh, first uh, few uh, results, yes. you know, they were jubilating. Yes. The officer, oh, yeah, yeah, it's winning. Yeah, it's winning. But when things got to a crunch, yes, uh, they were subdued. Yeah. So you knew. You can something. see that uh, the the uh, yeah, yeah, continent, their continents continents change. change. Okay. Some went and sat isolated, mm. eh? mm-hmm. and when the final results yeah, came out, in the morning. it was the prisoners who were jubilating. jubilating. <laughs> <laughs> the officers, some of them, were very sad. I see. Um, because some of them were really his instruments of torture. torture. And the prison itself, um, it was terrible. So the prisoners were jubilating when they had We were them. jubilating. Okay. So, you know. After a day or two, uh, when he reverses his wow. decision, so, so now the prisoners so tried and the officers um, give it they started <laughs> again. Said now anybody who says that it's uh, the coalition that will will beat you will <laughs> do this. Ah. Uh, unfortunately, okay. and one officer actually I was told mm-hmm. who put a cutlass in his uniform. Really? Yes, Kim. If we hear anybody, you know, celebrating the commission, we are, I'll kill you. Oh. <laughs> so uh, this is just psychophants for Jammy, uh-huh. and they did whatever he wanted. Then. Okay. So the situation also took a dramatic turn mm-hmm. when the economic Came. started coming. coming yes. First, it was the aircrafts, mm-hmm. and actually flew low over the prison. Oh, really? People were out, <laughs> and prisoners were screaming at the aircraft. Oh, is, uh, you know, he is, uh, you know, jubilating. Okay. Some of the officers actually ran to, uh, for cover. They thought it was real business. Yes. Okay. So the rest of all inside, everybody inside, you know, locked us in. So um, they knew now uh, things are not just uh, uh, the poor law-abiding UDP yeah. against the brutal uh, Yaya Jame yeah. and his uh, Firawana forces, how would I call yeah. them, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Okay. So uh, things took a change and mm. then, you know, when he left, mm-hmm. it dawned on them that, you know. You okay, uh, just before there, there was this person called Adam Abaro. You, you were a national treasurer. In 2006, he was made your deputy. Yes. Um, you must have known him very well um, from the period between 2006 up to the time of your incarceration. <sighs> I know now if you say much very water, well. now much water <laughs> has gone under the bridge, I know, since, uh, since you had this yes. political difference. But mm-hmm. what objectively, honestly, would you have described him uh, uh, you know, that's why I was giving a sigh when say very well. Mm. Sometimes uh, you can be with a person mm. for a long time mm-hmm. and you wouldn't know the true self. Mm. That is possible. Yeah, that is possible. Okay. But, he was but what we knew of him, what I knew of him mm-hmm. as my deputy, mm-hmm. 
He was a very quiet, you know, person on his own side, doing his own business. He wasn't speaking at rallies. He wasn't in uh, noisy areas that we, uh, you know, and others. I'm not as noisy as all the colleagues, but uh, he was not really visible as a you know, strong uh -huh. militant and activist. Uh -huh. He was doing his little uh, duties, uh -huh. you know, then as a uh, deputy. So he, was, he was well comported, uh, if, in well, other he words. He was quiet, not much spoken. Oh, okay. That's how I saw him. Yes. Actually, um, when Singul went, the trip that he passed away, yeah. I was in my office, uh -huh. Singul said, I must go you know, uh, to the diaspora, we must go uh -huh. to campaign and also raise funds. Uh -huh. um, so, but uh, we were stuck with his fare. Uh -huh. He contributed, I contributed. Uh -huh. Two of us paid for his... For, for singles fare? Singles fair. ticket uh -huh. to go to, go to the, the US. Uh -huh. But so then, he wasn't somebody who was very... Uh, he wasn't, he out, wasn't the type uh, or... Uh, no quite, uh, you did not stand yeah. out much in the past. Yeah. My, that's how we knew him. It was said that when you were in prison, uh, mm -hmm. along with Dabo and others, mm -hmm. well, I mean, uh, there was an issue, like uh, who would then take Dabo's place? Uh, mm -hmm. Some said you who were in prison made a suggestion that it should be accepted to Ture, and then, and then later when it became Adam Abaro. Mm -hmm. so what did you understand about that at the time? You see, um, people try to make a lot of issues out of this. Okay. But in a democratic context, mm -hmm. uh, be it in the US or be it in the UK, mm -hmm. people get up and stand up for party leadership. Mm -hmm. You can see yeah. Obama and yeah, Mrs. Clinton, yeah, yeah. you know, and Sanders mm -hmm. and others. That's you know, the primary is in, you know, in, 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 in uh, Biden, you know, it goes a long way. Yeah, yeah. And then, but somebody comes out yeah. at the end. Yeah as a winner, but the rest will, you know, really come, really come flock behind and the support the, the candidate. Person. Okay. And this so is the democratic so it's, it's context normal. that happens. So it's normal somebody, that somebody might be chosen or named. Even say no suggestion. Yeah. Because I didn't see that, you know, he was in the security wing, I was in the mm. main yard then. So even if he suggested, mm -hmm. It is his democratic right, right. to suggest, suggest somebody. Yeah. Okay. Somebody else may have suggested somebody. somebody. And uh, another person. Mm -hmm. And from uh, what I hear from Ajay Amseka, mm -hmm. the deputy party leader, mm -hmm. he said three people applied. Mm -hmm. And when they considered it, Job Kante is a major factor mm -hmm. in his selection mm -hmm. as the flag bearer of UDP. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. um, right now he's in the US, yep. I think. Okay. Um, but uh, he has been a, a pillar of UDP. Okay. I must say that. So can He's you not somebody who's saying, mm -hmm. I'm coming to look for a position as yeah. Yeah, a minister would, uh, or I want to be a okay. chief or something. No. He is committed. Mm -hmm. He gives his resources, mm -hmm. his time, energy, mm -hmm. you know, uh, vehicles. You know, and the office was camped at uh, you know, his brother's uh, place, place without paying rent. Mm -hmm. Okay. So all these are resources that you give to the party. Okay. So he was instrumental uh, with AGM and others in to selecting select Adama. Adama Baron. Okay, let's move on. Um, yes. Because I mentioned this, because many people believe that mm -hmm. those that moment mm -hmm. when some people suggested him and others suggested somebody yes. really formed the basis of what later led to the split. Um, you know, in, no, I in think it's, it's immature. I would put it as political to think, immaturity. To think like that. You know, okay. All right. because the selection is always done at the U UDP level, okay. Congress. All right. All right. Now you came and then, and then became go got into the government. Naturally, of course, Adamo mm -hmm. came from your party, mm -hmm. and uh, even though he had resigned and became independent, but actually he was from the UDP. Yes. And then you, all of you, became uh, members of the cabinet. You were finance minister in mm -hmm. in, in February 2017, Useno foreign minister, mm -hmm. um, Lamendiba, uh, agriculture was it first? Yes. Etc. Et uh, local government. Many people mm -hmm. believe at the time, mm -hmm. your critics said, um, you 
we are going to steal the agenda as a coalition agenda. Mm -hmm. And de facto, Adama was running a UDP government. Mm -hmm. You have too much influence trying to work for the interests of your party at the time mm -hmm. that the people, people, all the members of the coalition at the time felt a little bit um, uncomfortable with that. Is there any truth in that? Um, simply said, I would say no. Mm, but, but then I'll we, we have Adama saying I'll that, give that you Mr. Dabo was his dad, wherever he went he would mm, say mm, Dabo was a lion, Dabo was yes. a this and this thing. So people believe that I'll there and then you people wanted to set up a UDP agenda. I'll, well. I'll give you mm. uh, my views on this. Mm. Um, you see, wherever there is a coalition, mm -hmm. mostly either you have a dominant party mm. and then you have other smaller parties joining. Mm -hmm. Is it here? Is it in Senegal? Mm -hmm. Or is it in you know, other places? Okay. Uh, in Nigeria or outside is the same. Mm -hmm. um, UDP, we went through a series of coalitions mm -hmm. over the years mm -hmm. with NRP, yeah. uh, GMC, PPP, mm -hmm. uh, then the NAD mm -hmm. coalition with DOI and yeah. others. Yeah. You know, all these things were done. And this coalition mm -hmm. came in my absence. Yes. But they had their agreement, mm -hmm. they had their manifesto, mm -hmm. and they had their goals. Mm -hmm. And if you read in between the mm -hmm. agreement, the manifesto, mm -hmm. what it states is, we know the Germany election field is not level. It's mm -hmm. not a level playing field. Mm -hmm. So when we coalition wins, mm -hmm. you are going to make the field level, level. and then after three years, mm -hmm. we'll all go back to our individual parties mm -hmm. and contest. Now, was it, was it, was mm -hmm. it not that there, there, there is an elephant in the room because it was your party leader who first suggested that, that this three years is not, it's not tenable mm -hmm. and it has to be mm -hmm. five years? Yes. He yes. said that, so, I agree, yeah. and people try to make an issue of it, yeah. but he's a citizen. Yeah. He has his will. Mm -hmm. He has his uh, views on legal views mm -hmm. on that. Mm -hmm. He was not a party in that signatory. Mm -hmm. Aji Amseka and Alaji Dabo mm -hmm. were the ones negotiating and signing. But the people hardly go yeah. against Dabo. No, that no, but the party is mm -hmm. democratic. Mm -hmm. so when the executive met, mm -hmm. We discussed, we said, look, mm -hmm. what we sign mm -hmm. is, what is three with. years. Okay. We did not sign five years. Okay. Uh, party leader, you have said your views. Mm -hmm. We've had that. We respect you as an individual. Mm -hmm. But the executive mm -hmm. decided, mm -hmm. look, we're going to stick with what we have signed. Mm -hmm. It's ethical but and honorable. Exactly. But then, yes. but then it, the UDP were not showing any signs. Mm -hmm. that they really wanted borrow mm -hmm. when they were when they were all in the same um, to respect these uh, three years it was actually other members of the coalition people like mm -hmm. Omar Jallo who it must be said have now changed because he was the more vocal for the three years um, <laughs> uh, but the UDP was it so is it not true that if Mr. Barrow had actually decided to stop at five years the UDP wouldn't have any problem with him so the whole issue is because no, he wanted coalition. to continue. No, 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 no. That's, that's you were not born about three no, years. That, in, that was induced. Mm. That okay. was induced reference to say this is our feeling, but it is not. Oh, what was, what was your feeling? When we, we, what was feeling? we decided that was three we years. Stuck, we'll stick with our signature, that is three years. That was before uh, uh, people like you were, were, were kicked out of cabinet, isn't it? No, even before that. Before that. that. Before that, I'm, I'm saying people that were are making it. individual comments. Yeah. But then, uh, let me say, when we were in uh, office, mm -hmm. we were not doing more of party work at the time. Yeah. We were doing Gambian work. You were that not is vocal with these work. three years. You were not vocal with these three years. Not so. No, it, it was people like we, we did express our statement. It's uh. different when you have your views. Mm -hmm. You go to the press. Mm -hmm. Or you've expressed it amongst your mm -hmm. colleagues. Mm -hmm. Oh no, my was for three years. Mm -hmm. 
we discussed, we were old for three years. Oh, okay. OJ came out for three years. Yeah. You know, he was very blunt and open. Yeah, of course he's changed At now. the force. Yeah, he changed now. That's yes. That, that, that must be so sad. now he's changed. Yeah. For his own reasons. Political expediency, which they said <laughs> all of you, all of you <laughs> are guilty of. <laughs> well, I don't think we are guilty of You were, uh, despite all that, uh -huh. despite people's reservations, you were mm -hmm. said to have done a fantastic job mm -hmm. as finance minister. Can you mm -hmm. take us through how you found the, I mean, you found the whole economy in a mess and mm -hmm. you were able to setting things up until your departure there. Mm -hmm. uh, just briefly, can you describe mm -hmm. the state of our country? Ah, it is serious. How can I give it? An analogy. It's like you have a, a vehicle, the body, mm -hmm. the engine is broken, not running, mm -hmm. the wheels are out, mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. and the steering wheel is not there, you see, it's just like an empty cell. Mm -hmm. And you have to fix this to take a journey, a long journey. Mm -hmm. That's the journey the game should take, mm -hmm. you know, to recovery, development, and transformation. Mm -hmm. The debt was monstrous. Mm -hmm. uh, 50, uh, 50 billion dollars is around uh, one billion dollars of debt mm -hmm. that were taken. And uh, most of it, we don't know how mm. uh, those monies were deployed. But it's landed on the head of all Gambians. Mm. This is not just UDP. Yeah, it, it's for all Gambians mm. because we are going to pay all this. All these things. The mismanagement of the economy mm -hmm. and the embezzlement. Mm. Uh, the mismanagement goes through for, uh, like the. Uh, state-owned enterprises. Mm. Nawek. He signed a monopoly with an importer. Exactly. And heavy we all know Bayezid, the mm. global trading fund, mm. supplying heavy oil for us. Mm. When we came, mm. I changed, I did the first public tender mm. for Nawek, for HFO. Mm. And you know what happened? Mm. We cut the cost by 18% through that transparent process. Okay. That 18 percent means it will cost the operational cost mm -hmm. in Nawek. Mm -hmm. And probably if we had continued that trend, mm -hmm. the rates, the bills, the rates would have what been happened? possible. You, you said it they abandoned it when you left though? I'll give you ah, well, <laughs> we'll come to that. Okay. Uh, it, it's it's fallen apart, not mm. just abandoned. Oh, it's fallen <laughs> it's apart, fallen apart mm -hmm. into pieces. Absolutely. Yes. Bad, yes. Um, we had then just about two weeks supply mm -hmm. of heavy fuel oil, mm -hmm. and we would have had total blackout in the whole country. Mm. Okay. So, with the World Bank uh, help, we had to push. Call look. This is our situation, and with other funds, was able to draw as Minister of Finance from the IDB, and we made that first tender. I see. So, it shows so which brought down the cost. Okay. The so security and the was quality mm -hmm. was better. Mm -hmm. Because oil, um, you can order it, uh, they call it what? You have 1,000. Uh, bits uh, per thousand, something like 500 bits per thousand. The quality mm -hmm. in terms of its uh, uh, sulfuric content and so on, mm -hmm. the lower it is, the better. Mm -hmm. But the one that came from this tender mm -hmm. was the best heavy fuel oil. The orders were, if this was around 500, the orders that were being imported were about 3,000 you know, bits per thousand. It so was damaging our engines. So these and other things we you were credited to have put This in place. was there. Right. Um, the debt blocked us from a lot of areas. Mm -hmm. You know, even as a person, mm -hmm. if you are having fifty million, let's say dollars is uh, debt. Exactly. I don't pray you have that. <laughs> well, <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to contract the loan. Um, mm -hmm. You go to the bank. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. You say, I want additional even $1,000. Yeah, they will be reluctant. They will look at you and say, look, uh, you are already overburdened. No you way. cannot even pay. Mm. Your assets don't, uh, don't even worth that what uh, level. Mm -hmm. So uh, Gambia was sort of mm. blocked in a lot of ways. Uh, ways in securing financing for development. Then we did a lot of tough decisions, management, mm. uh, you know, in terms of a budget. Where? I revised the budget for 2017. Mm. Um, the deficit uh, 2016 uh, was something around, uh, was it 10% of GDP? Mm. Uh, you know, we brought it down by the end of uh, 2017 to 4 percent wow. and my 2018 budget it was a target of 1 percent mm -hmm. which our donor partners were targeting support. say mm -hmm. yeah because then uh, we were uh, treated as a fragile state, state yeah. a very weak state mm -hmm. so it had to do with a lot of tough measures mm -hmm. cutting budgets mm -hmm. travels mm -hmm. Introducing a vehicle policy that was ended up being so unpopular, yeah, okay. um, but it was passed by cabinet. Mm -hmm. It was passed in the budget by parliament. Okay, clear. But when I started implementing, mm -hmm. it was frustrated by office of the president. president. Okay, uh, that and other things. So uh -huh. the f fiscal also central bank act. Yeah. We discussed because there was no IMF program in the Gambia then. Mm. We brought in mm -hmm. the IMF uh, SMP, mm -hmm. Staff Monitor Program. Yes, yes. And we had benchmarks mm -hmm. and strategies to come out of this uh, crisis. Yes, yes. The Central Bank Act was one of those. You, you recently made comments when the governor was, mm -hmm. well, allegedly removed uh, unlawfully. Mm -hmm. and you said mm -hmm. uh, this suggests that um, the government, President Barrow, is uh, removing people who would have done a better job putting in people and pe the whole country should be worried mm -hmm. if uh, our access to our treasury is, yes. is, is, is not controlled, governed by any rule. What do you mean uh, by that? When we came and we found a lot of embezzlement mm -hmm. at the level of the central bank. Mm -hmm. If somebody can draw uh, a request mm -hmm. on A4 paper send and, this, send, and get one, one million dollars, dollars of our if money. They give it, you'll be a happy man if you are going to be given one million well, dollars just on A4, on A4 uh, paper. Yeah. These were happening. Mm -hmm. Millions and millions of dollars were drawn from our uh, okay. central bank. Our mines, uh, the Carnegie Fund, were put in at his disposal. Mm -hmm. Not at the disposal of Gambia, mm -hmm. but he did whatever he wanted with those funds. That was Jammeh, yes. Jammeh. Mm -hmm. The Taiwan loans, I don't know, 35 million yeah. dollars, things yeah. were like that, yeah. they were done. Mm -hmm. The central bank mm -hmm. is supposed to be mm -hmm. supervising our financial institutions. institutions. If at that level, mm -hmm. it is not ethical in its practice, mm -hmm. it is not uh, transparent, it is not straight, mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. And it's fraudulent. Mm -hmm. you, you destroyed the whole economy. Mm -hmm. And what Jammeh ended up doing was we found a lot of these loans uh, from treasury bills. Mm -hmm. The treasury bill rates were around 20 percent, mm -hmm. 18 percent. Mm -hmm. But we brought it down. Mm -hmm. We brought the monet uh, monetary policy rate mm -hmm. uh, from 25 to 20, mm -hmm. and we brought uh, interest rates down. Mm -hmm. Treasury bills rate uh, came down from. Uh, that 20 mm -hmm. to 8 and 6 percent. Mm -hmm. And you know how much savings that has done for the government? Tell me. Domestic debt is about uh, half of, let's say, 50 percent, let's say 25 billion dollars. Mm -hmm. So if you bring it down from that 20 or let's say even 18 to 8, mm -hmm. 10 percent mm -hmm. of that, how many hundreds of millions? Of that? Well, I've been Saved. That year, that is why I was able mm -hmm. to raise uh, 50 million dollars mm -hmm. from the savings of the, on this interest cost mm -hmm. to give it to Edward Francis to Tell wow. me why? Mm -hmm. Because the then minister uh, uh, 
Sisi, mm -hmm. uh, Safi Lo Sisi, mm -hmm. the di board chair of that hospital, Salah, Dr. Mm -hmm. Salah, mm -hmm. and the peers, mm -hmm. and uh, the current minister, mm -hmm. as then the chief executive, chief, yeah. came and were crying that our hospital was depleted. Mm -hmm. They were literally saying, look, we cannot go okay. any further. Consumables were finished. Yeah. They are the things they need, equipment, right? Even basic things then, yeah. you know, because I and took a patient there mm -hmm. to get a, this thing, blood pressure, this thing. they had to run to the wards. Oh. At the A&E, it was not there. Oh, man. So, so definitely. So the hospital was really sinking. Okay. This was the German hospital that uh, left. Yeah. And from the ma fiscal management that we did, mm -hmm. I was able to give them the 50 million to say, look, let's buy all the urgent things you need, need to equip the hospital for the greater good of the Gambia. The Gambia. Good. Um, uh -huh. Now, uh, since you left, mm -hmm. I mean, your latest comments, I forget that, since you left, mm -hmm. and you really scared the people, mm -hmm. you believe that all this, um, all this gas that have been put in place mm -hmm. have been abandoned. Yes. President Barrow is allegedly picking people he likes, mm -hmm. putting them in these sensitive places yes. the, in the Jammeh style. So you said the country should be worried that uh, Jammeh style of um, uh, putting his it house is, in the tilt is, is coming is. back. Yes. Is that a fair comment? Uh, I let mean, me give the, say the first case, uh, let's say Ports, for mm. example. Mm. Why remove Tamedo when he was doing a good job? Now, is it not a case of when you people were one UDP, mm -hmm. um, these people were put in place allegedly through influence like people like you, mm -hmm. Senator Dabo. Yes. Now, is, doesn't it make sense now that now that you are no longer sharing the same political view, mm -hmm. Mr. Barrow mm -hmm. felt it necessary now to approach these people who would have normally mm -hmm. listened to you rather than him? It does not make sense. I see. This is not the gamble we fought for. Mm -hmm. We fought for everybody mm. to be given equal opportunity. Mm. It doesn't matter who you are. Mm. It doesn't matter where you come from mm. or how you speak or how tall you are and so on. Every Gambian should have the opportunity to serve. Mm. Why were the previous ones removed? Mm. The embezzlement in their institution. That's why and you, you as head of that institution, mm. the box stops at you. Mm. You cannot say, I did not know, I did not see. Mm. Millions of dollars being siphoned out, siphoned of, that. out of that. These mm. were the people, it's like a thief comes to your house mm. and your uh, watchman mm. says, come, he opens the door for mm. take whatever you want. And then you said, I'm not aware. You said, okay. you have total responsibility. Okay. That's another point which I want to raise. Mm. You know, uh, with this journal commission, mm -hmm what should have happened, mm -hmm. a really committed, transparent, mm -hmm. and uh, a, a government that will aim for justice for mm -hmm. all, mm -hmm. would have taken the whole report mm -hmm. and say, let's adopt this. Mm -hmm. We change the country once and for all. Mm -hmm. Move to the next stage. Mm -hmm. We've seen that being happening in Sierra Leone. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we All those who are mentioned there, they had to, had to leave office. Leave office yeah. But we are bringing people who, back who, 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 are, who, are, who are guilty yes. in the commission's report yeah. of crimes mm -hmm. they have done with Jammeh. Mm -hmm. But then you single out orders mm -hmm. and say, no, for you we'll ban you, we'll punish you. Mm -hmm. What justice is selective, that? Selective. It's selective, selective justice. Mm -hmm. So, if you are going to be the same government mm -hmm. to set up a truth reconciliation, uh, sorry, anti-corruption and human rights commission, mm -hmm. which anti-corruption are you going to I'm fight? Going to, to fight. Those under your feet or those with other people? Mm -hmm. So it's like you're going to be selective and so on. Mm -hmm. It throws away all the credibility mm -hmm. of justice mm -hmm. in the implementation of your uh, program. And that's just one. That's aspect, just one. Aspect of the so I'll just give you an example quickly. Ports. Mm -hmm. You know, we had the new ferry, Kunta Kinte, mm -hmm. uh, celebrated. Mm -hmm. The talk boat that they had was gone. Mm -hmm. And you know, when the vessels were coming, mm -hmm. sometimes they had to be towed to, to dock. Yeah. 
and with Tambira, oh. we signed uh, with the this uh, Dutch company that supplied the vessel. Ship not the, diamond the, ship. Diamond ship, yeah. Mm. They will supply them with mm. tugboats mm. on a credit basis. Mm. They will do everything. Mm. And so they gave us a promissory note which Paul would sign mm. to pay on certain dates. And I then at finance guaranteed mm. those. That's how we got a new talk boat. Mm. Then. Otherwise the place is not going. Okay. He was doing fine. In the NDP, mm. one of the primary projects, mm. because there uh, is about 48 uh, flagships, mm. but 21 were priority uh, flagship. Mm. One of the most important is the port expansion mm. and rehabilitation project. project. Why is it so important? Mm. Because it is a, a growth factor in our economy. If the port is buoyant, Banjul is buoyant, mm. everybody is busy, mm. business is flowing, Sorry. you know, okay. it will grow our economy. I think that project is still on anyway. <laughs> I wish it was. Mm. Because we started working with the IMF, mm. uh, sorry, the IFC mm. of the World Bank, mm. to a point that they presented their first report, mm. but Ministry of Works was not interested. Mm. Instead, they went and signed an agreement in Dakar. Mm. Uh, they said, oh, it was just a, a non committal contract on the ports, mm. which was supposed to be loans. Mm. And then, my head was finance mm. was cracking with the loans I was carrying. Yeah. We couldn't carry any more loan. If we had taken any loan at that time, mm. then the whole World Bank program would have we crashed. Have mm. So, but with IFC, yeah. we went to a point that they said they can get private public partnership. Mm. You know, they will have private investors, which mm. has been done in other countries. Mm -hmm who will build the expanded port mm -hmm. and will have a, a, a management vehicle that will, will have a role in, mm -hmm. will have a manager still there, mm -hmm. that will work mm -hmm. for a period and repay off this debt. Cook the money, yeah. And then it would not have been a loan to us. Mm -hmm. But they also assured us, uh, the signing on fee alone could have brought Gambia about 5 million euros mm -hmm. that would be exactly. on now, this project. Yes. But, uh, what happened? They kicked against him. Ah, uh, see. So. All right. Now go to social security. Mm -hmm. Manjam found a loss-making institution. Mm -hmm. How do you make a loss when you are holding pensioners, uh, hundreds of millions, millions. of dollars? Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This institution was making losses, mm -hmm. and Yaya may took about two point one billion dollars mm -hmm. out of it. Yeah. Found out, uh, yeah. Shouldn't it be a cause of concern for Gambians? Absolutely. For all pensioners? Mm -hmm. For me, I am even a pensioner there. Mm -hmm. But my little pension, if I buy a bag of rice, yeah, I cannot, I mean, there, pay, I cannot there, say a transport to Paris. There was this story <laughs> about um, mm -hmm. your A and C private company. Mm -hmm. They said sometime when you were running that privately, mm -hmm. um, you, social security supposed to have all your money or you should no no it has nothing to do with a and co and then and then and then you when you had an influential no. position of finance minister you mm -hmm. twisted their arms to pay you no man. let me just learn this one manjan okay. came first year mm -hmm. he made a profit of over 80 81 million dollars yeah. and he was progressing mm -hmm. but he was a very strict disciplinarian mm -hmm. a very efficient financial manager mm -hmm. And they staff didn't like that. They were not used to that. Yes, we had a room. So if you want to transform this country, mm -hmm. that is the battle I had to face almost every day at finance. Finance. People say, we are used to this. They are always doing things. Mm -hmm. They jam away. Mm -hmm. And we are saying, this is new Gambia. Gambia. Let's change for Think the better, for the, better for the people. Absolutely. Manja was protecting pensioners' funds. Mm -hmm. He was increasing it, mm -hmm. and then for about four years, mm -hmm. they had not increased pensions because mm -hmm. they were making losses. Mm -hmm. And when he came, he increased pensions. pensions. Whose benefit is that? For us, for the country, of course. He yeah. was removed. So, mm -hmm. 
what is the logic in somebody who's doing well yeah. and you know satisfying the interest mm. of the stakeholders mm. to remove him and replace by somebody to mm. start fresh so what in your mind is behind all this is it then uh, some people but let me go my then central bank yes the act is one of the pillars for the IMF to mm. come in mm. under the staff monitored program mm. so if you are going to flout that act mm. You are putting this country mm. at risk. Okay, you can the risk, donors can say you, can risk you, of you are not serious mm -hmm. with your program. Programs, okay, okay. okay. So the next stage mm -hmm. that we are going, mm -hmm. eh, mm -hmm. the enhanced credit facility, mm -hmm. you are putting yourself at risk. Mm -hmm. This so act was supposed to make uh, an independent mm -hmm. central bank mm -hmm. that no one will interfere. Interfere. Because of the history, we yeah. have lost so many millions. Millions. But an independent institution, mm -hmm. free from government interference, government interference. And meddling, mm -hmm. will secure Gambians their resources. So you mean among the implications could be that the donors or partners, whatever you call them, yes. would raise credibility of course, issues about with, them about with, the this, with this action by the president to this is remove uh, unlo uh, allegedly unlawfully. It is, uh, I would say unlawfully because right. the act... Uh, makes the central bank a body corporate mm. why which can sue uh, and be sued. Why would you think the president will do this? It's doubtful. Yeah, Jamie did it several times. Ah, so, so, so you... So, and this is one of the ways you, you, you get said, into You said the Gambians, the Gambians should be concerned because... Every Gambian should be worried. Mm -hmm. Why remove somebody mm -hmm. who's doing his job well? Mm -hmm. And the act is supposed to protect mm -hmm the governor mm -hmm. and his deputy governor deputy governor until they because have contracts. he said you cannot remove them or transfer them until mm -hmm. you set up a judicial commission, commission. to look into their cases mm -hmm. in which case you have to notify them of that mm -hmm. I, uh, act mm -hmm. what they have done wrong wrong yes and they will be able to respond, respond. To that. But you cannot just touch them and remove them. Mm. That is the security of the country. Mm -hmm. Now, so it is illegal, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what my lawyers are thinking. If I was in the bar association, we would have filed a case mm -hmm. that this government has acted illegally, illegally. against the interests of the Gambian people. people. Now, there are all these components, allegations of mm -hmm. corruption in, in the country. Mm -hmm. uh, recently, it was fisheries. Mm -hmm. um, not long ago, there were problems with uh, Nawek. You mentioned Nawek, a contract that was mm -hmm. uh, allegedly... Or, or Nawek had given intention that they want to give a contract to a company mm -hmm. which would like to have deposited money in the first lady's account, etc. There were a whole lot of questions about mm -hmm. credibility, about corruption in the government. Yes. When you came in, mm -hmm. um, what was the level of corruption? What did you do to fight it? And did you see it surfacing now? What do you think is happening from your um, exp experience as the Minister of Finance? In my time... Mm. We were fighting it mm. from Navex and mm. from the other SOEs and mm. you know and within the government system mm. because we were really tightening government expenditure mm. to the extent that even state house we were cutting their budget. I know they were yes, not happy with that. Yes. But when a country is going down the drains mm -hmm. and you have to save it, mm -hmm. you have to make tough decisions from the top level. Too. And a lot of things were gone wrong mm -hmm. in Germany. So if you close your eyes, you just want to let things roll from day to day. Mm -hmm. You'll never save Gambia. Mm -hmm. You will never develop Gambia. Mm -hmm. Because there are tough decisions which this government is running away from. Mm -hmm. One is this uh, fiscal control, mm -hmm. the budget. Mm -hmm. The motor vehicle policy, Policies. they've run away from it. Right, yeah. uh, countries have done it, Murutani, they've done away with it. Mm -hmm. Go to Central team to Rwanda, mm -hmm. Botswana, you come to other countries, you no, know, maybe Togo. Mm -hmm. All countries are doing because it's a source of expenditure. Expenditure. And a lot of leakages can happen. Can be, yeah. People will just come, my car was broken, and this is the bill. You wouldn't be able to investigate them. Verify, yeah. 
So mm. that vehicle policy we could have saved Gambia 300 million Dollars. a year. Mm. In a year. That could have been spent in the yeah. hospital and other... Or youth yeah. programs, youth because programs. you have so much youth unemployment. Mm. Exactly. And we could finance youth programs into businesses. Mm. So now, let's, let's talk and we, talk. Let's, we, I mean, somebody listening to all this will say, okay, mm. where did the country get wrong? I mean, you guys came up. I'll with give you my opinion. Now, now you that. guys came up with mm. the collective opinion, uh, mm. opinion, a collective agenda. That is, we're gonna change all these things. Mm -hmm. Probably leave in three years or five years. In the middle of it, you split. Now, people said you people from whose sort of Mr. Barrow came from really emboldened him when he tried to hijack um, the fruits of the labor of a whole set of coalition by making it a UDP agenda. Mm -hmm. Now you embolden him, <laughs> he's thrown you out, and now he is doing what he likes. Of course, that is not an excuse mm -hmm. for Mr. Barrow not to stick to his promises. Oh, we know that, of course, that's true. But then people come back to say, I mean, he came from you people, you are to blame. I would say no. Why? He was not from DOI. Mr. He, didn't come, he didn't come from Mr. NRP. Cham, irrespective. Mm -hmm of where he comes from. Mm. A man is as valuable as his character and his ethics and the strength of his dignity to his words and commitment. Mm. Even in, within families, mm -hmm. children, you can have children with different characters. Huh? Mm -hmm. We have some that go astray. Absolutely. Huh? Mm -hmm. We have a lot of youthful population in the prison. Mm -hmm. Did their mothers uh, pray for that? No, they didn't. Would they want that? No, they wouldn't. So I think Gambians should stop crying this UD, Troy UDP. Mm -hmm. We should discuss about Gambia mm -hmm. and how we save our country mm -hmm. from being sunk. Mm -hmm. Because right now, our debt from 50 billion, we are saying now is going to 60 billion. Mm. You have to save your country. Mm. You don't have to save me or Useno or somebody, talk about somebody's mm -hmm. character and so on. Mm. Barrow is as good as his own accents. Mm. Mm. Not Useno who makes him to mm. do this mm -hmm. or that. Mm -hmm. My own view is he had his plans. Mm -hmm. He has his plan, mm -hmm. which he was executing. Okay. And we mm -hmm. serve the Gambian people mm -hmm. with the NDP mm -hmm. to transform the Gambia. Mm -hmm. We had our budget, I think it's about 1.6 million in the projects mm -hmm. that we took to the donors. Mm -hmm. There were about 200 and something million committed. Mm -hmm. A financing gap of 1.4 billion mm -hmm. and when we went we were embraced i must thank the eu yeah. the un mm -hmm. and all the agencies that participated in One place. they really worked hard with us yeah. and helped us mm -hmm. when we needed it most mm -hmm. now we went to look for 1.4 billion yeah. to transform this country mm -hmm. and what did we get in mm -hmm. pledges mm -hmm. 1.7 billion, billion. More than you expected. More than we expected. Mm -hmm. If we have strategically managed mm -hmm. these pledges, yes, 1.7 billion, yeah, to realize all this, mm -hmm. we would have been a different Gambia. But he had his own plans, mm -hmm. which he is so, implementing. I mean, I mean, from from the government's own sources last year or so. I mean, 80% of these things, pledges have not been realized. How? Uh, not been realized. Yeah. It cannot be because you have missed the road. Mm -hmm. You are not doing uh, the good uh, financial management that they expect of you. Mm -hmm. Nobody will come and give you money when you will be going night clubbing and doing this thing. <laughs> you say, no, I'm, I'm trying to invest in a, in a, in a factory here. Mm -hmm. And they see you. They know what is happening. Mm -hmm. Maybe he doesn't see what he's doing. So but everybody, all these donors, uh, are you within the country, are you and they know what is going on in this country. So are you suggesting that all the international goodwill mm -hmm. that this government received, mm -hmm. well, in terms of uh, 
um, support and in terms of credibility are all fizzling out. And you know what they told me at the conference? Yeah. Uh, one of the senior officials said, look, this is the moment for you mm -hmm. to make this uh, real. Mm -hmm. That is, take advantage of the goodwill that exists for Gambia. Mm -hmm. And we did. We came with 1.7 billion. Because he's saying other places are rising. Mm -hmm. Sierra Leone is out of crisis out of or crisis, war. Yeah. You have other countries. But the Gambia will really see that. The Gambia will, mm -hmm. the, our case will die out gradually really? from the international agenda. Yeah. So that was a moment. So you will be see. left on your own. Yeah. So, so it depends what you have done to build to your build country. Right. And so far we have not done much. So we, we are financing from our budgets. This uh, SAPs, mm -hmm. this Hakalang 500 million, yeah, it's this our Banjul project from our budget. Yeah, a lot of money when from. a lot of infrastructure rules were put in the NDP, NDP, NDP yeah. and we have 1.7 billion, mm -hmm. which we that. should have realized. That could have taken this care of could have taken, and this should have not damaged. Oh, but the entire Banjul project would be how much? About 1.8 billion. 1.8 billion dollars, yes. How are you going to pay that in your budget? Everybody, you take 500, uh, 400 million and pay. Put it there. Huh? Mm. The Hakalan, you put 500, maybe it costs 1.5 billion. Mm. You are already straining Training. your budget. Mm. If you had implemented the NDP yeah. as it would have been, have been, we had already got pledges more than this. More than this yes. We had financing for these projects which we could have used mm. at very concessional rates from uh, the Kuwaiti Fund, from Badea, from other sources. So, so what, according to you, has got wrong with Mr. Barrow? Why did he think he missed the road? You know. Has he been hijacked <laughs> by other people? <laughs> or what, what do you think? Oh, because he, he had his agenda, like you said, he had a clan agenda, mm -hmm. as to cling on to power, no matter this is the agreement. And he met uh -huh. people who really wanted to walk for I him along those lines. We were working for Gambia. Mm -hmm all the things we were doing mm. and he is working for himself mm. this is how i'll put it personal i'll say he is working for himself mm. but how could he when he came he was no. only known to people like you and Mr. Dabo. Yes. How, where did he get new friends that no. would change his mind somebody who can kick his father out and uh, <laughs> you know, not my father anymore <laughs> well, well i'm telling you a man is what uh, his, courage always his well. own self it's now, what do you make, who makes what make of these critics who said, actually, I'll, it's I'll, Mr. I'll give you his uh, trend. Yeah. Just uh, two minutes to do that. Okay. All right. yeah? mm -hmm. One protest is a GNPC. Mm. Um, when they were doing the initial, I went to ask, what is it? No, no, no. And my friend recommended this. He's a good man and so on. I did my tender. I brought down now it's called by 18%. Mm -hmm. They did a tender because one company won, mm -hmm. they can't sell. It's like you don't want this that person to know. To, oh, you know, we are coming to individuals, okay. not country. Not countries. Two, somebody who is doing very well. Mm -hmm serving the country mm -hmm. and getting results, yeah. you fire them from their places because they are not the person you, so they wouldn't do your bidding. you personally mm -hmm. want okay. and who will not just dance to any tune. Nice. They will do what is right for, for the country. This is social security. And this is uh, Tambedwad Ports then. Mm -hmm. And now yeah? Jamaica and Central. And Bakar illegally, mm -hmm. illegally. Oh, that one illegally, okay. Do you think there'll be other Because food? they want their own, mm. you know. Is so it not that this, isn't it not that like I told, this will like UDP and uh, they believe that? Uh, not even UDP. Mm. Somebody who will serve their personal I agenda. Ah. This is why it's a risk to the Gambia. I see. It's risky to the Gambia in the sense that mm. what we went through mm. with the Ajami, losing back. billions, mm -hmm. is back. a trend. Mm. Instead of giving Gambians the credit for what they di mm. do, you are choosing your own people to be in all the states. Mm -hmm. The other as areas are, look at all the ambassadors that's being, that are being recalled. Mm -hmm. Came saying, 
it was the one that negotiated for the Turkish flight. Mm. Yeah. He negotiated, he got these buses from the uh, Turkish flight to come. Mm -hmm. And when I went there with him, we went to the uh, Istanbul Municipal Council, mm -hmm. you know, to help us with our waste, you know, back what the dump yeah. site and yeah. so on, the waste, it still is. Mm -hmm. I must, you know, say, Talib has done excellent, mm -hmm. he has brought the, the, the vehicles to mm -hmm. dispose of, mm -hmm. but what we need is now the treatment, mm -hmm. you know, center. They sent in their director of uh, waste disposal mm -hmm. from Istanbul, the area council, mm -hmm. with a team of five experts. Mm -hmm. Because I negotiated uh, these people coming, mm -hmm. I informed the local government and so on. But, you know, this idea, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. initiated it's your board. And I don't have to initiate everything that is for, in, for me. Mm -hmm. I was then in uh, trade, and that is in my sector. Mm -hmm. If I can get some benefit from other sector, for other sector, I will do it. I'll bring it for the Gambia. Mm -hmm. so this you is you working for the Gambia. Going on another so you removed he chemistry. removed chemistry. Mm. Oh, is it not there? Contract? You go to... Uh, what is, sir? These are renewable. Renewable. It's the same thing oh, with the uh, central bank. They are given a contract. Maybe chemistry is UDP and it's no longer listening this to him. It's listening yes, to Davo uh, or you. He is doing for Gambia. Ah, okay. He doesn't have to listen to anybody. Okay, okay. He is doing for Gambia. Mm -hmm. huh? Who else was removed? Who uh, was doing a good China job? China was doing a good job. Mm -hmm. I signed the broadband network. Well, yes. The fiber optic cables. Mm -hmm. And I had a big battle with the World Bank. Mm -hmm. They said, no, your loan portfolio is too high. Right. And to add another $20 million mm -hmm. is too much for the Gambia. Mm -hmm. I said, no, I'll manage. I'll tried and tried with them mm -hmm. in such a way we structured the project mm -hmm. that it became a concessional a concessional loan mm -hmm. because they gave criteria for their concessionality mm -hmm. it has been raised now from 35 percent to about 50 now when i was living mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah so mm -hmm. i was instrumental in following up that we secured the loan we got it now you have fiber optic you know broadband which is which has been lying as a wasted asset mm -hmm. for how many years yes. and we put in the last mile mm -hmm. now you can connect the offices mm -hmm. you know and the next stage was mm -hmm. to digitalize government mm -hmm. okay the health yeah database yeah. you don't have to go and every time they ask you what was your complaint and you go well, back and order that the same question. You want to have the information You have stored. your information. When you go, you have your card number. They can think and they like see a private, the, like the a history. Of the, like a private of the clinic. Person. This is it. Have a file on that. Yes. Okay. This is part of the digitalization. The customs. Tax digitalized. Custom clearance. You don't have to queue for two weeks going up and down. Up and down. Okay. Other countries have gone through this. All right. And we are we, just... We count it mm. down to the final. Like I want, yes. I want, I want to ask you now. Now that we are in this stage, mm -hmm. Mr. Barrow, who left your party mm -hmm. um, in your consideration after his own plan to go, he's formed his party, the National People's Party. People accused him of warming up to a former his he, his former opponents, mm -hmm. AP, mm -hmm. a, a, APRC, mm -hmm. um, eating up smaller parties like the NRP, mm -hmm. with whom you started in the coalition. Mm. How do you make of the present political scenario and, and what do you think when you hear people say Mr. Barrow may have a chance now to be re-elected? I think then uh, we as Gambians, mm. my conclusion be we don't like ourselves, mm. we don't want uh, Gambia, we don't want to build a future for our children, mm. we don't want to build a future for our country because they should see this man mm -hmm. as he is, not mm -hmm. what he claims to be. Mm -hmm. Because if you see one of his interviews with one of your journalists, he mm -hmm. said, in politics you can say anything. Yes. Huh? Yes. So he is saying anything every time. <coughs> I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. We have built uh, 800 kilometers of roads. Mm -hmm. we will build I think you should ask. He, we will build it, he said. He said we will build it. Yes. No, he said he has built compared to Jawara and... Oh, yes, Jambi. there was a time he said yes. do better yes. than Jawara and Jambi. 
he's not driving future, he's claiming to have money. <laughs> well, well, but well, you should not. ask him, uh, where are those roads? No, no, I think he's the window dressing roads are no, like I think uh, he meant to, to say, at the end of my first uh, time, I would have built more roads than Jawar and Jammeh did. Well, that, that's what he would have to say. Then. He's claiming roads like Lamingkoto Pasman, which Pasman. we are not in his time. Uh, he just ended in some. Sukuta yeah. Jambanje. Sukuta Jambanje. The bridge. Well, these are not his projects. Oh. <laughs> He's not initiated. Right? They just happen to finish. But then every time. politician will, will, will claim no, 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 that no. spirit. I'm, 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 I'm a politician. I won't claim that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I promise you that. You won't do that. No. And uh, the other I one is uh, saying, I have, I'm going to... Uh, do 1,000 COVID beds and you know, mm. where are they? 500 millions have gone. Millions and millions have gone. Mm. Where is it? Mm. Where, where is the, uh, the hospital beds? Mm. He's making promises and statements. Mm. You know, I think Gambians should match up their politics. Mm. It's not just what you hear. Mm. You should evaluate. That's what I'm saying. Mm. The man is as good as his character exactly. and his word. Mm. Now let me mm -hmm. ask you, uh, um, do you see him, his NPP, eating into um, UDP basis? No. I'll tell you. Where would his supporters come from then, if it's not UDP? He's trying to tango with NRP. Mm -hmm. uh, he's uh, making overtures with APRC. Mm -hmm. Ionically, Gambian should see, ah, we elected you to kick out APRC mm -hmm. because of these 22 years that mm -hmm. we have gone through mm -hmm. terrible mismanagement, mm -hmm. torture, mm -hmm. killing, mm -hmm. rape, one name it. Mm -hmm. All the nightmares that Gami has won. You were supposed to be the catalyst, catalyst. for the coalition. Mm -hmm. Not only the coalition is irrelevant, for the Gambian, Gambian people, people. Yes. to eradicate this kind of thing. Now Instead, he's bringing them back them. into the system. Mm -hmm. And what are they doing? Mm -hmm. And this Baro Youth Movement started it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it sound like Jame Youth Movement? Ah, uh, the July 22nd <coughs> July 22nd Youth Movement. Mm -hmm. Fatuba Baro Foundation. Mm -hmm. the, well, it First, has ladies First Ladies Foundation. First Ladies Foundation. Zainab Jame's Foundation. Mm -hmm. You set up commissions mm -hmm. to investigate Zainab uh, Foundation. Yes. And a lot of things were found wanting. Are you repeating this? You are repeating the same thing. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, the next commission would ask, mm. where is the 33 million? Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Maybe that's why the new constitution cannot pass. Cannot, I, well, you have to pass the anti-corruption mm. and human rights All those commission. things have to be there. You know, mm. the rule of law has to come in place. Mm. This public order act mm. uh, to define people's rights in policy, mm. you know, mm. a lot of, a lot of things that will really stand up for the Gambians. Mm. It seems he doesn't like that with the gang of uh, MPs that... Uh, uh, your, your MPs, they, so they were your MPs. <laughs> no, you see, uh, so he, parliament he, was corrupted. Said he, I, let me well, tell well, you. Well, but they were your MPs. People said, uh, I mean, your trouble is trouble that's really spread, spread it nationally. But these people are they were you. from you. You did not look at I quality at the time. I have been Your critics said you look at quality at the time. You look at who was no. uh, who was available, whose mother had done something for the party, and then you put no. them up. And now no, today... No, 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 not whose mother. Mm. It's the constituencies that select through their own committees. Yeah, but the, the consideration no. was whose mother or father was... No, uh, no, no, no. Who they think can do well they, for their community. They brought but I'll, I'll give you the reasons for mm. this. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. when 2016 coalition came, mm -hmm. Jammeh has gone. Mm -hmm. There was a lot. Of, there is a lot of vacuum. Mm -hmm. When he was living, how many MPs did Jammeh have? We had them almost, almost the entire house. The entire house. Mm -hmm. So there is a there was a vacuum. Yes. That so be. there was a rush. I see. And the beauty about democracy is, mm -hmm. you'll have the real hard-working uh, MP representing, representing the interest of his electorate. Mm -hmm. You'll have the MP who just wants the position and the benefits that go with that we position. position yeah. And you have one mm -hmm. that will go with the crooks mm -hmm. and do the worst thing, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. just to fill his pocket oh, yeah. against the country. Mm -hmm. So all these people have a right to stand up because it's the electorate who should discern mm -hmm. and find out who is who. 
And the same thing happens in the presidential election. Mm. There are all the people who just want the seat. Mm. I want to be on top of your heads, Gambians. I'll be your king for 15 years. Mm. There will be others who say, oh, you know, I want this movie, you know, it will raise my profile and so on. Then the others will say, when we get there, maybe we can build a, a skyscraper, we can siphon something out. Mm. But there are the committed few who will say, we want to save Gambia from the wreckage that we had come from and from the wreckage that we are facing now under this regime mm. to save Gambia and make it a viable country, not as a, how they call it, a risky state. Fantastic. You know? eh? Okay. Right. As one question, of course, that remains unanswered. Like I said, when you were finance minister, so you mm. talk about social security, there were mm. allegations that you made them to pay you for a job you've done, oh, you've done years mm -hmm. ago, you, no, you am twisted not, them, them, or no, you... No, 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 no. What is no. that? What was it? You see, um, I was a private individual. Mm. For me, uh, personally, I'm passionate with farming. Mm. Uh, and I think the government should be, mm -hmm. because over 90% of our poor farmers they are all earning a living from mm -hmm. scraping the soil, yeah. and our projects should have really gone off. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, the NDP has crashed. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my own assessment. Okay. Um, I had a plot, uh, 200 by 200 at Tujere. Mm -hmm. Fence it with all these fence posts. Mm -hmm. Had about eight barbed wire, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, rounds. Mm -hmm. And I planted the casu trees, the entire 200 mm. I was saying, oh, this, I love to retire in my garden or some farm. Mm. Mm. And when they brought the social security housing project, mm. at first it never reached my place. area. Mm. I thought maybe when the demand grew, mm -hmm. they expanded it. Okay. It's one plot that was 200 by 200 meters, mm -hmm. another one 93 by 93. Mm -hmm. It's a road between them. Mm -hmm. So those were my two plots. But it's a 200 by 200 that I developed. The other one I was planning to mm -hmm. develop now. Mm -hmm. You know? Yes. So nobody called, nobody wrote. Mm -hmm. They put a grader mm -hmm. in my farm, yeah. demolish every single thing. That was before. That was during Jammes time? During Jammes time. Mm. But that was social security? I took mm -hmm. the matter to court. Mm -hmm. Our C.C. Sabal was my lawyer. Mm -hmm. um, like Jammes do, mm -hmm. say, oh, this is kind of bullshit. I'm not, don't bother about him. Mm -hmm. The court case went, mm -hmm. you know, we won. You won the case? We won the case. And what were you and asking? The you want to and the, the order was mm -hmm. not to give me back my plot, mm -hmm. but they put a value mm -hmm. to it. And give you the money? And say, okay, this. Mm -hmm. uh, with the interest up to date of payment like this. Like this. Their normal judgment. Okay. We followed it up. Mm -hmm. Go to Social Security, they'll throw you. Go to Ministry of Local Government. Mm -hmm. Ministry of Local Government, no, go to Social Security. We went to the sheriff, mm -hmm. no, we cannot act. Nobody was willing. Mm -hmm. And I still remember our words. Say, Ahmad, this is the order of the day. You are not alone. Mm -hmm. I have so many cases like where they have won, mm -hmm. they should have been paid, mm -hmm. and the uh, judgment never paid. Mm -hmm. They say, but your case, this judgment mm -hmm. doesn't get rotten. Mm -hmm. It will be there. Mm -hmm. Just go do your business, leave it quietly, mm -hmm. your day will come. Mm -hmm. So it's almost five years I've not been paid. So what happened after the changes? You became minister. After the changes, mm -hmm. I was minister, yeah. of course, in charge of social control. Mm -hmm. And uh, him, Amadou mm -hmm. Baro, he's known my case, mm -hmm. I've explained to him. Mm -hmm. My lawyer, I left her to do her job, mm -hmm. to complete, follow his, her claim. Mm -hmm. Because she is going to also going to be paid out of that. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Like you said, so you said, there will be a fine day when there will be a day rule of when law. When you have a rule of law, okay. and government should respect the rule orders of, of the court. 
So that was the member of our expert. So it wasn't uh, because you were a finance minister and no, so it was on the judgment. This was a judgment. judgment. Okay. A judgment that I won. Mm. He followed, she followed it through mm. and they negotiated. Mm. She got paid. Mm. I got mine. I got her. So it wasn't because. So what is wrong in that? Oh, following so your, uh, following maybe, your rights. Yes. But uh, maybe, an maybe because you, you were their boss now, they had no choice. They had to. They no, don't even have to. No, because. So it was a court order. Because we fought for the rule of, of law. law. And when it came. Yeah, yeah, Jamie never respected mine. Uh -huh. And so many others who, who had won their cases. Okay. They were all victims. So it wasn't you. Those who. Cases where one and two and have so, all so many others will have claimed now yeah. and they would be given right. their rights. Finally, what would be your last word? We're packing up. <laughs> uh, I would say that it was tough from Jamme days mm -hmm. to build the economy to a point where it was recognized that the Gambian economy has really taken a turn for the better. Mm -hmm. um, commercial bank interest rates were 24%. Mm -hmm. We brought it down to 18%. So imagine 6% from a loan of 1 million what mm -hmm. has, uh, that has saved that businessman, mm -hmm. especially those with multiple loans. Because we want to build the private sector, the business sector. The foreign exchange was stabilized. We brought back the IMF with the SMP mm -hmm. as partners, passed the Central Bank Act, and then we changed the laws that the II had put in that all commercial banks would sell 15% of their foreign exchange to the Central the bank. bank. We abolished that law. Mm -hmm. We made foreign exchange free. That's why now foreign exchange is becoming widely available. Widely available. Yes. Our last uh, trip to Washington on this uh, development policy operation, mm -hmm. we had requested that they front load the aid that uh, the budget support that the World Bank mm -hmm. was giving mm -hmm. to Gambia. Because really, having bits and bits wouldn't solve the problem. And it seems this was agreed to. That's why the flows are coming even after Amadou Sane left. The same with this stuff, um, this enhanced credit facility. I negotiated. Before going to the May 2018 donors conference, mm -hmm. we had already concluded the SMP, mm -hmm. and we should have somehow started. They said, no, let's wait. We see all the pledges. Right. We'll factor it in your... Uh, MTDF, mm -hmm. that's medium term debt yeah. uh, uh, f uh, framework, mm -hmm. so that you will have a good you know, outlook mm -hmm. and then you will be able to secure more funds. Okay. That's why it was delayed until after the, uh, the donors conference. Mm -hmm. And these are the things that are coming. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the things that have come even after us where yeah. are our initiatives, of our drive. Mm. ADB facility, we negotiated with them. Mm. ADF 18, that's type. How are you are getting some of those uh, funds? Mm. So, we were building the Gambia, okay. not ourselves. Shelves. We were working because we know our country was really at a very risky and we have to salvage it. Nobody will come and salvage it for us. Mm -hmm. We were under all this terror of Yaya Jammi, all these embezzlements. Our partners, they know what was happening, mm -hmm. but they will not send their troops to save us. It's for us Gambians. Mm -hmm. We have to take the bull by the horn. Fantastic. And to stop dictatorship rearing its head again. That's why I'm so vocal for uh, social security, mm -hmm. for central bank, mm -hmm. and for all these ambassadors being recalled, Ibu Mane there, mm -hmm. uh, Member Tamido and so on, mm -hmm. uh, Ramzi Adiyev and so on. Mm -hmm. This will cost the taxpayer mm -hmm. uh, over 20s of millions of dollars. 
Because each ambassador goes, you have to pay warm clothing allowance, you have to pay residences for them, you know. Mm. You have to take their families, their schools, and so on. It is a very heavy expenditure. And you think these people have been removed, not because of anything, but for because very of political personal government. political reasons. Politics. Because most of the, or if not all of them, are really performing for the Gambia. Mm. But they are not performing for an individual. individual. So we should stop this incumbency, this dictatorship, mm. rearing its head. Again. Okay. Again. And the last point, well, I thought if you <laughs> have the EU uh, High Representative Borrell speaking, yeah. Uh, we've seen the social media. Liars. Yeah. 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 No, not liars left, oh, but the, uh, his boss. His boss in the yes. That um, throwing out this constitution, draft constitution mm -hmm. is a disappointment to the development partners. Yes. Gambians would think, mm -hmm. when we were going to them, they welcomed us with warm hearts. Yes. And they were willing to help us. Mm -hmm. Why should we leave the road go into the, drive our bus into the bush so that they become alarmed and what would happen, they will hold back. Hold there, hold and there. we, the Gambians, will suffer. That's why everybody should speak out mm. that this is not the way that we had fought for our country and this is not the way that will take us out of the mess that we are in. Thank you very much. Wow, well, thank you, Al Haji, the Honorable <laughs> Amadou Sane, uh, executive <laughs> member. Um, National, Chairman, National Treasurer for the United Democratic Party and former Finance Minister. Thank you very much for sharing those. Thank in you. this special interview, I'm Lamin Cham. Uh, until we come back your way again with Thank another you. interview, see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you.
within three days rek ñetti fan rek nga jot say diw amuñ ci lu rek dañ la consult tamit balañ la jaay diw dinañ def a free consultation pour wax la rek exactly li nga xamne mo mengo ak sa kanam dinañ len wax tamit ne rek am nañ perfumes you know fragrances men shirts um accessories we do do dresses as well we do blouses i mean we do shoes name it we do them skincare plus 2020 is our year of perfection zero task fi nek ni rew mi fe ken wara fi fe task ken wara fi am problem kanam ken wara fi am problem mi pitcher boko amé dafa fek ni rek ñewulo ci place bi fi Yo, ini baru ini baru. Ding baru ini baru. Welcome, welcome. Basically, lots of lala me along with school, man. That I can really relax. What a madam. Yeah, what a madam. Yeah, let him do some balance. Ah, that's right. Oh man, this is like a paradise. I love this place. 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 I love this guest house Miss V Designer Outlet is the number one quality and affordable stop shop for all your needs. Get your evening dresses, suit and ties, office wears for both ladies and gentlemen, beach wears, sport wears, pure leather shoes for men, quality belts, bags, heels for all beautiful ladies, original perfumes, accessories and a lot more.
Find us at Kualoli New Road opposite Gaddafi Mosque at the Aqua Preacher Station. Or call us on 295-3411 or 764-2486. Miss B Designer Outlet. Shop right, look good. <laughs>